Hi, Larry Keen here with a review of Video Flow. This is a powerful, engaging, creative videos for Facebook, YouTube. It gives you all kinds of possibilities for making videos. Let's take a look. Hey, it's Sam back here and welcome to this video. Now you'll see I've just logged into the video flow software. I want to do this video for JB so you understand how this software works, how it operates. And um, we'll also do a separate video that you'll be able to use on your bonus pages if you want to as well. So basically video flow, the reason we created it is we wanted to create a really complete solution that gave um, users the ability to do uh, a lot when it came to videos, a lot easier without a timeline editor, something that's quick um, and easy to understand. So um, that's what we believe we've done. If you click create video and you get into your account, you'll see we've preloaded some templates. By the time you log in, you'll probably see many more templates than this. We're just loading templates in at the moment. And uh, you'll be able to select some of these templates. So for example, if you were to select just this one here, um, if you're running a demo, um, reviewing the software, you'll see it'll load up. And um, then we're in the canvas right here. So the canvas itself um, is a little bit similar to other softwares you've probably seen. The main primary part of it is actually this um, preview bar here. So you'll see here that as we move this bar, uh, the content changes within the video itself. And this bar allows you to decide on how long a particular clip is. So you can adjust the duration of a clip, or how, um, and it'll show you how, lo how, how, how long in total the video duration is as well. Now this works in sync with this clip system. So instead of using a timeline, we use separate clips. So if you wanted to, say, add a new scene to a video, uh, you might have, say, three or four scenes to your video. You would add one scene here, which might be 10 seconds long, for example. Then you would add another scene here, or you could actually duplicate that last scene if you wanted to. Then you'll see here we automatically have welcome um, that is on this new scene. The new scene itself is five seconds long, and you can preview the scene by clicking preview scene. So you've got now two scenes within our video, the first one and the second. Now you might wonder why this um, rendering icon shows up. Basically so we can save time on rendering at the end of the video. We render the video while we're actually editing it. So it's done very quickly, it's, you, know, you don't really notice it, uh, but it means that we're able to render videos a lot faster as a result of doing that. So you'll see here as well that we have a layers system that will work as well um, with this um, system here of editing. So um, each text, piece of text, uh, each video is a separate element within this layering system here. To select one of the elements that you want to edit, you can scroll through them. So you can actually select and you'll see here that I'm selecting. And if you want to actually go to the element and start editing it, you can double click and it'll come up with that element settings. Or if you wanted to, you could go inside of the video to the place where that element is and you can then select that element. Now if you wanted to edit that element, you would just select it and then you could then retype it. If you wanted to downsize it, for example, you could make the size a bit smaller. If you wanted to change the font of it, again, you can change the font of it, you can change where it is. And you'll see here that it's um, this element shows from four seconds until six seconds. So um, that's how you determine when an element will be available and when it'll leave. So if I was to put my pin outside of this section, you'll see the text has disappeared. Inside of it, the text has appeared. You can also do fade in, fade out effects with the text itself. And on your new scene, for example, if you wanted to, before your new scene comes in, you can cho choose from a range of different transitions. So you choose open transitions, um, closed wrappers, transitions, all sorts of different transitions here that will be featured uh, as this, uh, this clip goes into the next one. Now, if we were to start this new clip, for example, and we wanted to make this a new scene, let's say, for example, that this is a, um, a video to introduce a photographer, all right? So we're introducing a photographer. It's got a cool wee effect. Uh, we can actually preview this scene right now so I can show you what the scene looks like. It's rendering it now, and um, now it's gonna actually preview the scene. So this is what the scene looks like. And uh, this guy is really into his photography, John Doe. You'll see my text is kind of weird because I resized it. And then, um, then we continue walking. I can then adjust my text. I can move it within that object and make sure it's fixed. Um, what I'll do is I'll go to my new scene now, so we know it's about photography, and what we're going to do is we're going to showcase some of, um, you know, what uh, what the photography is that we've done. So uh, let's go and do that. So select my new scene, 
uh, and I might say, for example, um, my port, oops, my portfolio. So I'll put that in the center there, and that's going to run for. It's got here one um, one second, but I want it to run for more, obviously. So I'll run this scene for three seconds. So this particular scene will run for three seconds. I'll do a fade out effect um, to this text, so it'll last for 0 0.2 seconds. And um, I'll also put on a background um, here as well. So I might actually put on some sort of shape element. Uh, and um, we'll just go like this here. And now you'll see that the shape element is over the text. So I go over to my layers. I drag the shape underneath the text. I can now select the text here. And I can change the color of the text so I make sure that it shows up well on this um, white background. So what we have now is we have our first scene. We have a transition that takes place, which is the closed wrap. And then we have our my portfolio being introduced. And um, then from there, I might then create another scene, which actually is going to showcase some of the, the portfolio of this particular person. I'm going to delete this text. So I've got a blank canvas. It's one second long right now by automa uh, by on automatic. Um, and then I've got my other footage here. Now if I want to take more footage, I can just take more footage from the stock video footage that we have available here. I can scan through all of this, find the one that's going to be good for me. Uh, alternatively, I can do that with my image footage as well. Um, uh, or alternatively, if I wanted to, I could record my own footage, um, upload my own footage into here if I wanted to as well. Um, for this particular case, I'll take some of the footage we have here. So I might just say that you know um, John has done this footage here, so we can scale this. This is going to come in. And then I might add like a label to it. Um, so that's a brief example of what video flow is. And we'll just continue. This is actually the sales page, which uh, you can see as soon as this goes live at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's Sam again. Uh, some of the features. It's all about creating videos. So, um, recap, you can, it's a cloud-based editor which will help with the speed on any um, system. It's fast and easy editing. And it does have a 30 day uh, money back guarantee. Uh, it comes at a personal rights license and a commercial rights license and so you there you have the video flow now when you for the first uh, few hours there is a video flow 10 is a coupon code that will get you ten dollars off and that's a pretty good bonus but if you click the link below this video that will take you to my bonus page, which is the super keen bonus page for video flow. And I will give you a recap of what it's all about. I will show you the up sales and down sales, uh, the front end has the the two varieties, the personal and the commercial. That's why you have the two prices. Uh, the video flow upsell. Uh, again, you have uh, the standard and the professional. And then uh, upsell number two is collaborate uh, by video flow where you can share projects, uh, 30 brand new done for you video projects, 15 video projects every month for 12 months. 
commercial rights to all templates and project sharing feature uh, comes in the 67 and a 97 variety and then the video agency you can assign sub users uh, agency contracts Facebook groups again you have two standards the 97 and the 127 and then you have uh, upsell number four it's a video flow reseller license and again there is uh, two varieties the 297 and the 497 which I don't have real delineation on all of these uh, they just kind of lump together and the benefits for this product is that you can do some quick down and dirty uh, cutesy tootsy videos and uh, some people can you can use it to resell you can make your own without paying a lot of money those are one-time fees except for the ones where you're getting recurring if you make your purchase from one of these uh, buttons, I will include to you some custom bonuses made for this product. Uh, custom bonus number one is a tutorial on how to make professional talking head videos. Uh, bonus number two is uh, Jono's Fiverr Guide, how you can use this to earn on Fiverr. Bonus number three is how you can use this to rank your videos to the number one spot on YouTube. Number four. These are all custom bonuses. You won't find them anyplace else. It is uh, Octane. It is a product that uh, Jono had on the market just recently. That's why this bonus is only good for a few days. Uh, because this product is being sold right now. And you can utilize it does a little neat little trick with videos let me just put it that way it's a it's a real hack and number five is the bonuses that are included from uh, Sam so you can get these bonuses at the end when you pay uh, you get your receipt and there's a little blue box at the bottom of the page you click it you get a download page you got your bonuses nothing hard about it that is the review of the video flow I'll be back in a few days with something else if you could uh, give us a like and a subscribe I'd appreciate it thanks